Hello and welcome back to Dragon Quest 12 Tutorials, I am Goizikizi and in this video we're going to go over the new uh, special class that is going to be the Tenchi Raimeishi which is going to be the Druid. So here I'm going to have uh, my Druid party pretty much over level 40 which I needed to go over uh, their basic stat or basic abilities uh, that I want to go over but over here going to the actual portion of where this particular uh, special class is so uh, the druid is described as a caster of miracles who manipulates the principles of the universe with the power of gamma and deep wisdom so if you go over into the details here uh, for this class you're actually going to need two of three different advanced classes so you either need a level 70 sage a level 70 monster master and or a level 70 ranger so two of those three particular uh, classes so uh, pretty much going back here in a little bit so if you go to the stats here you can see in the top right you're going to see the weapons of expertise so the weapons of expertise for this particular class are going to be staffs rods claws and boomerangs so um, very unique to this class especially um, with uh, the characters that uh, you actually have used them but um with these particular stats um it actually does make sense with the abilities that this uh, uh that this uh special class does have in terms of the soul slots you're going to see them here so soul slot one is going to be blue purple slow slot two also blue purple slow slot three is going to be any and then soul slot four is going to be purple so uh, here, what I want to do is go over the class skills. So the, like I said, they're going to actually be uh, quite unique. So this first one is going to be right here. So this is going to be called uh, Kakuro no Kago uh, Hanpuku. So this is pretty much means a uh, blessing of Kakuro and repetition. So with this, at the start of the battle, the druid has a rare chance of being given the blessing of Kakaron repetition. With the with the blessing, uh, with the while the blessing is active, when doing damage to an enemy, the druid will be able to do an additional one to four attacks to random enemies. This damage is weakened and does not provide any added effects. This is enabled through the soul path, which I will actually go through later. Then after that, the next uh, class skill is going to have is going to be called uh, Barbalu no Kago, which is uh, Shusoku, which is Blessing of Barbalu Convergence. At the start of the battle, the Druid has a rare chance of being given the Blessing of Barbalu Convergence. With the blessing, while the blessing is active, the power of the Druid's attacks increases as the enemy numbers lessen and the character performs attacks on all enemies. So this is enabled through the Soul Path as well. After that, we're going to have another special class or class skill. So that is going to be Domedi no Kokuin uh, Dashu, which is going to be Seal of Domedi Seas. So when uh, using an offensive skill, the Druid has a very rare chance of giving one enemy and one of the app and one ally the seal of dominity sees when the seal is on some buffs uh, put onto the enemy with the seal will be given to the ally with the seal instead so this is enabled through the soul path so this is actually going to be quite uh, good especially when uh, fighting uh, particular enemies that are going to have some uh, very uh, strong buffs uh, but I believe this does not work for every buff especially if it's a very unique buff but uh yeah but it is actually quite good then over here we're going to have uh kushirami uh no kokuin uh, kyoyu which is going to be seal of kushirami share so at the end of the druid's action the druid and one ally have a rare chance of being given the seal of kushirami share when the seal is on some buffs put onto the druid will also be given to the ally with the seal as well so this is enabled through the soul path so then actually over here as well this is going to be another class skill called uh, nakama monster no kizuna which is monster companion bond so what this does uh pretty much damage to enemies is increased if they are the same monster type as the monster companion you have set with you on the field this effect changes uh depending on the monster uh companion's quality 
So uh, pretty much uh, in terms of the monster companions quality, you actually have five of them. So um, I've gone over that uh, before in the past uh, talking about monster companions. Then also with this, there is going to be a party skill. The party skill is actually going to be that of the sage. So all party members get a plus 2% uh, spell resistance, though these effects do not stack with similar effects. Then besides that, uh, here what I want to talk about is going to be uh, the Dormant Temple Trials. So I've actually have finished uh, the level 30 trials. So in this case, the trial uh, pretty much very similar to uh, any of the other trials. Uh, trial 1 is going to be uh, do an attack to all enemies with the Blessing of Barbalu five times. Trial 2 is going to be share a buff with any ally with the Seal of Kusharami five times. Trial 3, using Monster Companion Bond, defeat 10 enemies that are the same enemy type as your Monster Companion. And then Trial 4 is going to be activate Druid Walker skills, uh, skill, Walker skill three times. So um, that's going to allow you to unlock uh, the first part of the uh, Jarma Temple Trials uh, for level 30. So that's going to be that there so uh besides that over here uh since you are using a uh monster master you're going to actually have two leveling schemes one is going to be regular level in terms of just defeating enemies and the other one is going to be through nakama monsters uh but i believe with this one if you have already um done or have completed this with uh, the dragon class um this actually automatically carries over since you actually have already completed it already so even um when i actually uh started with the uh druid um this was actually already filled all the way to the end where i actually have the final skill which is going to be prey so uh pretty much now i just need to worry about uh the levels uh for the regular levels here but uh, down in the actual uh, comment section, I will have a list of what you actually get uh, for the various levels of the uh, druid here. And then also uh, have information about the Nakama monsters as well. So uh, now what I want to do is actually go back and talk about uh, real quickly going to be the walker skill so going back to right over here so with the walker skill uh, i can't actually show it since i don't have uh the uh gauge filled up but uh this is going to actually be very interesting because the walker skill for the druid is actually going to be two different types so um one is going to be called uh satan noki uh, Seiten no Gi, which is going to be uh, the Ceremony of Clear Skies. And what this does, it changes the weather of the field to sunny and increases the recovery effectiveness of healing taken in by characters by 1.5 during battle. With the exception of some battles, this is going to last for 10 minutes. Then uh, besides that, the second one is actually going to be called... Uh, this one right here this is going to be Uten no Ki which is going to be a uh, ceremony of rainy days so with this uh, changes the weather of the field to rainy and lowers MP consumption by half during battle with the exception of some battles and this is going to last 10 minutes so that's actually quite interesting uh, lowering the MP consumption by half so uh, definitely if you're using very high cost uh, spells or uh, abilities um, definitely this is something that was going to be uh, very effective uh, it gives you a chance to actually uh, cast even more spells or even use uh, more abilities but uh, that's going to be uh, only for 10 minutes or so so uh, pretty much that's going to be that there so uh, now what I want to do is actually go over the abilities of this particular class by going into a battle. So here, let's see, let's go into this battle over here. So 
So here with this particular druid, what I want to do is go over the level 8 ability. So that is going to be Zaba. So Zaba is actually going to be uh, the new uh, attribute that has been introduced into the game. So that is going to be water based. So uh, with Zaba is going to cost uh, 9 MP. And what it does is with an intense water current, this does moderate Zaba spell damage to one enemy. So going to be like this. The next uh, ability that we're going to have with the druid is going to be her hurricane. So uh, with hurricane, uh, this is going to be it right over here. So uh, with this, this is going to cost 30 MP. This does great buggy breath damage to all enemies going to be like this. Then after that, uh, next ability that you actually learn, which is going to be at level 15, is going to be Gigadane. So Gigadane is one that we have seen in the past uh, pretty much on a uh, weapon. But in this case, this uh, particular ability is actually comes naturally to the druid. So with Gigadane, uh, this is going to cost 44 MP. So with the Tremendous Lightning, this does massive Dane spell damage to all enemies. So going to be like this. Okay, so for the next abilities I want to go over, these are going to actually be very similar to the class skills. Instead, uh, you will actually be able to uh, summon uh, the actual Gimma themselves rather than them randomly appearing. So the first one that I actually want to do is going to be right over here. So this is going to be Barbalu Shokan uh, Shu Soku, which is Barbalu Summon Convergence. With this, it's going to cost 10% of your max MP. And what it does, the Druid is given the blessing of Barbalu Convergence. The power of the Druid's attacks are increased as the enemy numbers lessen and the character performs attacks on all enemies. And pretty much this also furthers, uh, further raises their skill damage, which is something that the class skill does not do. So going to be like this. Then at level 25, uh, we're going to have uh, the Kusharami Shokan Kyoyu, which is going to be right over here. So with this, uh, Kusharami Summon Share, uh, again going to cost 10% of your max MP. So the Druid is given the Seal of Kusharami Share, which summon, uh, which some buffs put on the Druid will also be given to an ally with the Seal as well. So what I'll do is actually do that with C. Uh, this character over here next to it. So now if either of them get buffed, they will actually share the buff together. Then over here with this character, what I want to do is actually put on uh, the next ability that's going to be learned at level 30, which is going to be Kakonon Shou uh, Kakuro Shokan, so that is going to be uh, Hampuku, so uh, Kakuro Summon Repetition. So this is going to cost 15% of your max MP. The character is given the blessing of Kakuro Repetition. When doing damage to an enemy, the character will be able to do an additional 1-4 to four attacks to random enemies. So going to be like this. Then after that, uh, here we're going to have the final... Uh, skill which is going to be learned at level 40 so this is going to be uh domini shokan uh dashu which is domini summon seas this is going to cost 10 percent of your max mp and what it does is one enemy and one ally druid are given the seal of domini seas some buffs uh put onto the enemy with the seal will be given to the ally with the seal instead so i'm going to put it on the shadow panther here So with that here, I actually want to just go ahead and auto battle. And you should be able to see uh, how uh, these particular seals actually work. So 
So in this case, um, actually, you may not have seen it, but uh, very quick to happen, uh, you actually did see there was some extra damage done to the Shadow Panther. So here, what I want to do is um, actually to actually showcase that a little bit more. I think I have that. Um, I want to actually try using uh, Giga Blade. I'll use it on the Shadow Panther. So in that case, you saw that there were actually multiple attacks. You know that, uh, you know that uh, Giga Blade actually only does one attack. But uh, in this case, you saw multiple attacks. So that is going to be uh, the power of uh, Kakaron, uh, the Kakaron Summon. So here again, going to go ahead. So in terms of the actual sharing ability, for example, uh, I can sh actually show you right over here. If I put on Protective Shield, so it's actually shared with the other characters. So now the other characters have a protective shield as well. So here again, going to attack using Giga Blade. So there, missed, and now everyone here. So that was uh, Abaishion. So now all my, so now I stole that uh, with that there, and then now again stole that uh, there to get extra defenses. So now pretty much uh, that was oh, just about everything. So here, definitely, what I want to do is try defeating uh, these characters here. So definitely. Uh, this is going to be a very useful class in uh, this particular situation. So here, I uh, actually want to resurrect this character, but uh, pretty much those are going to be the abilities uh, that are going to be unique to this particular class. Okay, so that was um, all the skills that are unique to uh, the Druid. So um, there actually are skills um, that you actually do get from the uh, Monster Master uh, portion of the leveling. But I actually went over those skills uh, when I actually uh, did my Dragon Breakdown uh, early, way earlier this year. So um, those actually are pretty much the same. So um, if you need to actually... Um, I actually, down below, I will actually have those abilities listed in the comment section, but also if you want to take a look at those abilities, you can actually watch uh, that particular video. But uh, yeah, so there really isn't much of a change. They're going to be exactly the same. So uh, something that I actually mentioned before um, in terms of the class skills is that they're actually going to not, you're not going to actually have access to all of them. Um, uh, depending on the soul path that you actually choose. So going over here and going to soul paths. So you're going to actually have two different soul paths for the druid. So pretty much like any of the other special classes. So the one on the left is going to be the path of heaven. And the one is on the right is going to be the path of earth. So for the path of heaven, this is going to increase spell damage. While the path of earth increases breath damage. So uh, in terms of the actual class skills uh, with the path of heaven over this side uh, you're actually going to have um, uh, two of the class skills enabled with the path of heaven so those are going to be uh, the uh, Kakaron's blessing and the seal of Domini so um, pretty much uh, you if you actually have uh, these particular if you're on the class skill of uh, or the path of heaven, you'll actually be able to open 
those cl particular class skills for this particular character. And then also uh, with this particular ha part of the uh, soul path, it also increases the activation rate of the Kakaron's blessing and then all the blessing of Kakaron and the seal of Domini. Then for the uh, earth path, so the path of earth, this is going to increase breath damage. So in this case, it enables the activation of Barbalu's blessing and the seal of Kusharami. So also increases the activation rate of Barbalu's blessing and the seal of Kusharami. So uh, depending on what you, how you want to use your uh, uh, druid, you either want to use them to do breath damage or spell damage. So that's going to be your two choices here. So pretty much that's going to be the druid in a nutshell. So definitely uh, you will be seeing me use this particular character uh, in coming battles. So hopefully um, I actually can level them up to a decent level uh, where they're actually not going to die very easily and actually be uh, quite useful. But uh, with that said, hopefully um, that actually explains everything about this particular class. Again, uh, at level 60, there is another uh, Dharma Temple Trials that I definitely will probably go over um, with. Also with that, also there's an increase to their... Uh, there's some type of increase to their walker skill, um, which I'm not sure what it is. Most likely it's going to be the increase of the duration of time uh, for uh, the walker skill. So at this time, it's going to be uh, 10 minutes, but most likely I'd say probably can get bumped up to like, let's say 12 minutes or even 15 minutes. But uh, with that said, I want to end this video here. So definitely um, you will see... Uh, videos on the shadow panther which you actually did see the shadow panther here in this video but that was actually just the regular uh hokura battle i will be going over the level 60 hokura battle for that and also i will be going over the horse devils as well so please stay tuned for that but with that said i'm going to end this video here so thank you for watching if you enjoyed the video please leave a like if you'd like to see more please subscribe and i'll see you in the next video